All right, boom, starting. So much epic ninja in that reset. Yay. Yay, now we can hear stuff. I did it right. Yay. So are you including the intro to the... Yeah. Okay. Hello, happy town and happy fairies. And now they're going to become oh, sad that? fairies. Yeah. Oh, no, it's dark. Oh, my God. Oh, no, it's hard. I wonder, that that castle always looked like some kind of, I don't know, I know it's, I guess it's supposed to look like an egg with feet, but the castle itself kind of creeps me out like that. Oh no! And so it begins. And oh, I have to press start now. We're starting. Oh, and look at my uh, completely awesome yeah. triple 100% files. I, I actually bought this game from the virtual console for my Wii because I just have so many like happy fuzzies with this game. Uh, and right now I'm at 99%. There's one crystal that I still can't get, and it drives me crazy. <laughs> Well, maybe this will help a bit because I managed to get all the crystals in a matter of like five hours the other day. So, Hi. so guys, I, I'm sorry we haven't really done any intro. This is Sensei Mewtwo one two three four five, <laughs> and this is the Curl One Irving. And welcome to Let's Play Kirby sixty four. I guess this is kind of impromptu because we were expecting to do Path of Radiance, but the game is late. So just like the train. Do you know how to use Kirby's copy ability? I'm going to pretend I don't so that everyone else can learn. Yay! So you press B to inhale, B to exhale. I love how the edit is so And no, you don't need to be out. constantly doing this. You don't need to constantly do this to survive. It's not like actual breathing. Like, that would suck if the entire gameplay was inhaling and exhaling to survive. Oh my goodness, that... You are now aware that you are breathing manually. <laughs> Pretty much. It's just like, swap, only with breathing. <laughs> and Kirby can spit pure powers out of his mouth. That is like the only game he can do that, because you can combine powers in this game. Yay! Hey. I don't know if it's just me or not, but the... Stars? Always, always stars. <laughs> Yay, power combo. I actually don't like this power. Yeah. I mean, it's somewhat useful, but it takes too long to hit distant yeah. enemies. I agree. And we will be going over as many powers as possible. It really just depends on what powers I decide to grab. I obviously won't probably won't grab all of them because there are some powers that I just absolutely hate and will not grab. For example, the ice and electricity one. Ugh. Or, well, I guess that one's good for healing, but as far as actually hurting things goes, it's not that great. <laughs> oh, look, they're definitely pulling you. It's like offering a fun. Ugh. Getting hit by a shooting star does not happen every day. And now it's happened <laughs> twice today. <laughs> and one of them has a fairy on it. This just never happens. Oh, and she looks so sad. <laughs> and hey, look, the shooting star's fuse. That face Kirby makes is weird. I cannot get my mouth to do that. It's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so let's begin so the basic story that's going on here is we need to recover all the lost pieces of this crystal so that we can restore harmony and good stuff to the heart place and we get to start on our own home it, so <laughs> And we get to start. We have enemies that don't have powers, such as these black people here. I forget what they're called, but they don't have powers. You don't get anything when you eat them. 
And then there are enemies you'll be able to, you'll know what, what they are when you see them that do have powers, so yay. Yeah. And then combining powers. I'm, oh, oh, you. I know what you're trying to do. I want the fire sword. That is I want the fire sword, and you are going to give it to me. Hooray! Oh, it's one of my favorite powers. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to remember. Um, I think electricity in Cutter is also really cool. For sword type stuff. That's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, that one's even more awesome because it's like Darth Maul double-sided sword thing. And, it goes, and the sound effect goes like... Poof, poof. So we are just killing things and looking for a collectible. There it is. It's the crystal shard. Obviously, we want to collect all of these to 100% the game. And don't worry, and it will get harder. <laughs> yeah, they do get harder. Although not really for me because I've played this game a lot and I know where they all are and how to get them. So <laughs> You're I'm just going to turn around and stand here and let you get killed by my sword facing backward. Yay. That's why I love this power. You can just jump over stuff and the sword dragging behind you will kill them. <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. Alright. I don't suppose we need to kill all the enemies. I don't usually do that. Mainly because I like going through this game really fast. <laughs> okay. Who has time to kill all the enemies? Oh, oh, oh. and we want the bomb here. Yes, we do. Because over here we have this little black mound here, I guess, and you can only destroy it with a bomb power. Underneath is a crystal shard. Yay! Yeah. There are going to be lots of those things that you can only destroy with certain powers, so yep. that can get kind of annoying because sometimes, because sometimes the power you need isn't even in the level, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at the, and you have to look at the colors and just see vary of what you see. So. Yeah. Hello, Waddle Dee. It's so shiny. I like the shiny. Oh God. And, and, <laughs> And somehow the dark matter manages to transform Waddle Dee into a Waddle Doo. Yep. I don't know how that works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you spoiled it. Except I don't know. Some people might not even know what a Waddle Doo is. So. Yeah, like all of these enemies have a special name, but ten. sometimes we just never learn them. Yeah, these battles are all fairly simple. Usually you can just beat them using your powers, although I'm obviously not using one, in which case you just suck up the stars and throw them back at them, so. Oh, and you are dead. And I get your crystal shard. I freed you of the dark matter, but I also stole the crystal shard you found, because I'm just that kind of person. <laughs> no more shiny for Waddle Dee. <laughs> Waddle Dee's like, I'm going to get this shiny back, so I'm going to follow you from now on. So now I'm going to follow you. <laughs> oh, and, oh and now we get these end sequences, where it's like a picnic, and you get to jump at stuff. And you'll probably usually see me go for those cards. I'm probably not going to collect all those cards. They're like the... They're like ninja info cards. They tell you about your enemies in a certain menu. I don't think I'm going to collect all of them because it'd be really, really tedious and really boring to watch me go through the same level over and over again. <laughs> uh, no, I missed. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I got the worst possible thing apart from nothing. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you get nothing, though, Kirby sits there and he cries. And you don't want Kirby to cry, do you? Yeah, he just starts bawling. And it's sad. Oh, okay, there's a star over this way. I love the music in this level. So peaceful. My powers and stuff. Oh, now we get to get one of my favorite powers of all time. Combine oh, bomb yes. with cutter and you get explosive shuriken. Yes! Yeah. They're kind of invisible until they hit something, but nonetheless awesome. That's a cool power.
Oh, come on. There we go. They're kind of I hard to hit, those bouncing that, things. Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. First hit of the project. Oh, that's got to hurt. Taking a shirt, exploding shuriken star to the forehead sounds very painful. Oh, come on. There we go. Goodbye, Gordos. That's kind of the only way to kill Gordos is to cause them to be free of whatever is trapping them, because otherwise they're invincible. Oh, Christy. Oh. Oh, Christy is, like, one of my favorite, like, mixing powers, so... It's pretty, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, but I still, I will always love the shuriken. It's always been my favorite power. Yeah, okay, shuriken. Cutter, <laughs> Cutter, I feel like, has one of the best combination abilities overall. And just to show you guys what I was talking about earlier, I'll go ahead and go get the ice and electricity power. Basically, it allows you to turn into a refrigerator. Ow, if he doesn't hurt me. And you shoot out food that you can heal with, but it's not really that great for hurting enemies, so you won't see me use it too often. But great when you're low on health. Yeah, it's kind of a good thing if you happen to be low on health to just use for just one moment to replenish yourself. And there's another bad one, the ice and bomb. What is the ice I mean, and you, bomb? You turn into... You place a bomb on your head and then turn into a yeah, snowman, snowman, and you right, there's right. and then you turn and you explode after a little while, right. and it's the most useless thing in the world, <laughs> except for maybe another combination. I think it's ice and ground. Uh, I just don't see a point to that power at all. I'm not even going to ever use it or even show you what it is because it's so pointless and you'll just epically face palm when you see it. <sighs> and then some enemies, it's kind of interesting. You can suck them up and hold them over your head and they'll do stuff without you turning them into powers, so. Although I'm going to get rid of you because I want this life. And I don't want to fall in the hole because of me holding you above my head and being unable to puff up. <laughs> and once again, I've accidentally gone into a mini-boss without any powers. <laughs> I smell a running theme. <laughs> it's okay. At the very end, there's a boss battles gauntlet that doesn't let you have any powers. And I'm going to do that completely unedited. That's going to be fun. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I, I have a confession to make. I thought this character was a boy for the longest time until I started re reading Brawl in the Family, which is great, by the way. Random webcomic plug. It's okay, I had absolutely no idea either in my childhood. I always called him an it. <laughs> <laughs> I think part of it might be because of this, that I was like, yeah, you're a boy. <laughs> and yay, now we get to fight 2D images. Because this it's person like is Gloria. secretly the person who can make paintings come to life whose name I cannot recall. Um, I think this is Mrs. Now this makes no sense to me. What is this that is censored? This makes me... I don't, I don't even like to think about that one. I was going to be really fun to tell you what I thought it was, but... I'm not sure what rating you want your LP to be. <laughs> um... <laughs> if it's, like, incredibly sketchy, then maybe not. If it's not... If it's bad but not that bad kind of at least like pg-13 then it's probably cool all right because <laughs> this is a kid's game so yeah, it does. But then again, we do want to watch ourselves yeah. <laughs> and i do believe this is the only time you ever fight a dark matter in this game and it's actually kind of interesting because it fights exactly like the clouds from the original 
Kirby's Dream Land that I hated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except not nearly as hard. <laughs> And then this is the most pointless thing ever. You can beat him just by plowing into him and getting hurt. <laughs> I never knew that. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and then we get a crystal shard, and whoever this person is comes to their senses. Yeah. It's more proof to show that in the end, being an artist, yeah, it's not the most useful thing sometimes. <laughs> Especially when your very last fight is you and you can be beaten by simply walking into the person you're trying to hurt. Which kind of blows the whole point since you need to walk into them to hurt them at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there we go, I got the card this time. That you are not on your last little bubble of health. With my ninja info cards. Oh, Cash. And now we get to go to King Dedede's castle. Wait, we're going to King Dedede's castle in the third level? What is this madness? What? <laughs> what? It's like the king's suggesting that the final boss is someone other than King Dedede. <laughs> in fact, no, nah, I'm not going to say it. Oh, oh, I was going I, to act... I was... Actually, I'm... I'm not going to do that, I don't think, because, yeah, I'm going to actually want the double cutter power for later. Uh, oh, okay. Actually. I hate this power, but we will have to use it frequently, so. <laughs> yeah. In order to prepare up for stuff. Like, there's going to be a pure green yeah. block ahead that we need this power to destroy. Yeah, so. I know when I was little, I had no idea what to do with that stupid dream. It took me. Not until I, again, pulled out the game, like, so many years later. Um, but I was kind of like, oh, it's green, like the cover power. <laughs> and I went dirt. <laughs> I was a little <laughs> kid. Wow. No comment, but... <laughs> Although it is kind of a tough one to figure out since you'd think, oh, well, maybe I only need the one single green power, but you actually do need the double yep. because the little tiny boomerang cannot hit low enough. Yep, yep. Oh, dear, Gordos. Oh, I mean, anytime you feel like stopping hitting your head on the ceiling, Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a Maxim Tomato, but we don't need it. Those will fully restore your health. Die, stupid cutter people. Oh, I hate this power so much. The bad part about this power is you can't do your puff thing while you're, like, only half a Kirby. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a difficult one to wield. It's so big and wieldy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, down we go. And now we can use it here and get rid of this stupid power. Yeah. Yay! And yay, I get an extra life. Give me that. Let's get rid of this, because I don't want that power anymore. <laughs> and there's a crystal shard up here. And now we just continue up the stairs of doom. The long spiral stairs of doom. Of doom. <laughs> I don't know what it is with LPRs and everything has to be doomed, but it just comes naturally. <laughs> I guess it's just something that P Call must have passed on to the rest of the LP community because now there's not a single LPR that cannot say doom at least once in their episode. <laughs> Or rather, cannot not say Doom. I said that very wrong. <laughs> it's alright. No, I honestly associate Doom Spinning. with... Spinning! <laughs> dance on that chain, Kirby. Dance! No. <laughs> oh, God. Remember, this is PG-13. <laughs> okay, I'll... I don't know. I guess, they, I guess they won't know what that means. Kids, if you don't know what that means, don't look, don't look it up. Otherwise, we'll get in trouble. <laughs> uh, in very large trouble. <laughs> I said nothing. 
I love Kirby's <laughs> facial expressions in this, where it's like. He like turns pattern. around and like he's like, "Wow, well, what? The evil person is just gonna be more evil." <laughs> I've been no, I was looking more, thinking more about the eyes and how they like pop out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I've gone into the, ah. Oh, that was cheap. Oh. Oh. That was cheap, and you know it, King DDD. He inhaled me while I was directly next to him, so I could not escape. And once again, I'm doing this without a power, except on purpose this time, because I like doing this fight without powers. Nice old bat. <laughs> and now he's floating, and he's shooting dark matter at us. Whoa! I think I've beat King TDD so quickly that I don't think I've ever seen him actually use the second stage power before. That's kind of bad. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I remember that's the, how he inhaled in Kirby's Dreamland. Is instead of using his mouth, he like opened up his zipper like that and sucked you through his gut. Ooh. That's <laughs> and now I'm going to allow him to fall on me, and I'm going to jump on his head because <laughs> I can. <laughs> now he's gonna wake up with a massive headache. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not going with you. And then he goes, rah! Rah, fine. <laughs> I, I've never really understood what King DD's motive to come with them was in this game, though. <laughs> like, I guess maybe it was to get revenge on the dark matter, but still. Yes, but and now we get to fight Wispy Woods. It's every single Kirby game! Wispy Woods is like the staple of Kirby games, for those of you who don't know. He's always the first boss. Except now he has little Wispy Woods children that we get to murder. <laughs> With apples. Kirby murders children! What? <laughs> And now Wispy Woods is angry because we've murdered all of his children. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. I was hoping to hit that second route just as it came out, but it failed. Alright, extend your roots so that I may hurt you. Let's see if we can find... Ah, dang it. It wasn't set up right anywhere. Sometimes you can inhale two apples at once, and whenever you inhale two of anything at once, as long as it's not two power-related objects, they become a star that can hit things multiple times. So you want to try for that whenever you can to do double damage. And this fight just really isn't interesting anymore because he's doing the exact same attack pattern every single time. <laughs> it's the first world boss. What do you expect? <laughs> I'm trying to gasp with the rhythm of the music, but it's failing. There we go. Now I got it. This will Ooh. probably kill him. There we go. Because it will pass through two of his roots and do double damage. And now we get a giant crystal. Yay! Wow, that's so cute! I just noticed that Wispy Woods has a carrot for a nose. I just <laughs> now noticed that. How sad is that? <laughs> Yay, giant rock of I don't know what it is. We will find out soon. Actually, I know what it is. You don't know what it is. At least if you haven't played this game before. I'm making no sense right now, but whatever. 